pound and a half. Guys, it's kind of like a mid video recap. Uh, we're about to transition from uh, practice to tournament day. Uh, didn't find a whole lot in practice, as you can see. Um, where we started at, I was really looking for uh, shad spawning around grass, which I kind of found. I uh, caught a few fish early on around some uh, lay downs that had hyacinth on top of them. I uh, saw some fry around grass, so thought it was going to be a spinner bait type of situation, especially with the wind, how it was in practice. Um, but what I did accomplish was eliminating a lot of water. I eliminated 80% of spring bayou, caught all my fish in Premier Lock and a little bit in Old River, but based off some information given to me, uh, I ended up going to check out Old River towards the end of the day, uh, saw a ton of life, looked the best out of everything I'd seen. Uh, green grass, they had recently sprayed the whole lake, so not a whole lot of green grass to be found. Uh, that we're used to so the shad seemed to be more relating to the grass that was alive there was bait there was everything so i uh, didn't catch any fish later in the afternoon but i was kind of fishing faster than i normally do i was spun out uh, just from the, l the long day and uh, i kind of just set my s sights on this is where we're going to start in the morning uh, because we didn't catch the quality of fish that we needed for, it, for the tournament in premier lot so that was going to be our backup plan bites me in the ass of course we probably should have started in premier lock but you'll see how that unfolds right here enjoy What was it? A giant bass. He hit me at the boat. Can you see it? And I was raising it up. I mean, that's you, you can't really do nothing about it. But I had my head turned. I, when I had right there, I hit it. Y'all follow us, please. I'm in it. He, he missed the three pounder, and I was the first one to put in the boat. Yeah. Two pounder. I missed Two and one. a half, and he missed the three. It can't. He he was drilling his spinner bait in, and it hit him at the boat with this much line out his rod. Hey, good luck. Thank you. Y'all too. so easy with him shaking. <laughs> Got a net all of them.
when he cast it, I just make it that one trick. Out of few? Five times before he did it. Black, black. Okay guys, uh, I never really recapped uh, yesterday's event. Um, my dad and I fished against my brother who's usually my team member, but his uh, club tournament is the one who put on this event. Um, did some pre-fishing. Everything I, I thought was gonna happen uh, practicing, didn't. I uh, didn't really get on a bunch of good fish. Caught four or five in practice. Uh, had a couple bites, couple get off but couldn't find the quality of fish I knew to win the tournament. So going in, wasn't real confident that, uh, you know, we had a shot to win it, but wanted to show some support and donate the money and, and give it a run. Well, uh, we, we, I got some tips from a couple of trusted sources right before we got started um, the night prior that Old River, the alternate part of the lake, there was some hot spots uh, where they were catching some hammers in. So I made a last minute decision to trust my instincts and the knowledge of the lake and for us to start an old river instead of what I found in practice. Mistake, <laughs> where we started there was six other boats. No one really got caught anything within the first 30 minutes and five out of the six left, us being the fifth. Um, we ended up getting eight bites for the day, put four in the boat um, and weighed about eight to nine pounds. Uh, they released the scorecard, we would have placed around somewhere in the middle of the pack out of the, the 45, 50 boats that entered. Uh, my brother and them got on them with a frog bite around uh, some reeds and cypress trees on Old River. Actually caught 15 fish, uh, one big bass in fourth place, so they, they brought home about $1,300. Um, and yeah, so that, that was the recap, you know. It's hard, hard to go in there confidently and... and feel like you're gonna win something whenever you practice and you don't really figure a whole lot out. Uh, my, my thought process behind it was that these fish were gonna be in post-spawn looking for spawning shad around right uh, around uh, grass beds which that was the case but it was just to get them to bite. Uh, I believe nine to ten anglers on the water yesterday were throwing spinner baits. We caught a couple on spinner baits uh, early in the morning, switched to flipping a structure bug and started getting some better bites on that. Uh, and as soon as we moved to the area where I was initially planning on starting, of course, is where we started catching some better fish, but uh, the time clock ran out on us. So that's fishing. Next tournament is Friday on Bayou Chico, and uh, looking forward to